Part 2. Silver Snow. Guardian Moon. A King Without a Kingdom. Having parted ways with Edelgard, former students of the Black Eagle House now work alongside the Knights of Saros at Garrig Mach. They begin to create a resistance army strong enough to take on her Imperial forces. Thank the goddess. I couldn't bear the thought of letting Gerald down by not finding you. Guess he lucked out. We've been looking everywhere for you, but I see Lady Rhea isn't with you. Damn. Everyone was real worried about you, Professor. Seta told us everything. From here on out, you will have our aid. I am so grateful that everyone is safe. I am sorry things are moving so rapidly. There is something we must discuss. Come with me. The time has come to make our true stand against the Empire. Our base will be Garrig Mach Monastery. The interior is in less than prime condition, but we should be able to utilize it much the same as we had before. Surely those Imperial jerks have this place staked out, right? It's a highly strategic location. It may be an area of importance, but it is far removed from the front lines. Considering the burden of transport, it is possible they are not paying too much attention to it. Nothing escapes the Emperor. There must at least be a spy or two. Professor, what do you think? Your concern is valid. However, the town and surrounding hamlets are still present. And though far from abundant, the church still has funds at its disposal. That's true. Professor, I think we can leave expanding our army to my brother. He was always good at negotiating, and I believe he is best suited to the task. In that case, I have a request. Please allow my soldiers to join your ranks as well. How Sire already tried taking on the Emperor. As a result, our territory was stolen from us. As a consequence, I do not have many soldiers left to speak of. But those I have are yours to command. I feel like I should tell you that I've been protecting some kids who lost their parents in the war. They're in the town right now, but maybe we can move them to the monastery? I'm sure they'd be happy to chip in however they can. Hmm. Yes, I understand. I will make the necessary arrangements. I nabbed some valuables from my house. Father is with the Emperor now, so... It's not much, but it's yours. I don't have a thing to contribute. In fact, I'm still in my same old clothes. I've been wandering on my own for five years. I won't go back to that house or my father, that's for sure. I understand. Leave it to me. No labor is too great if it means saving Fodlan. Your attention, everyone. The Knights of Saros and our most trusted allies have gathered. We have rallied our troops for the purpose of stopping the Adrestian Empire's efforts to rule all. We have prepared a new flag to fight under. Much like the Professor, it bears the Crest of Flames. I hope everyone finds this suitable. Beneath this flag, we will bring back peace to the great land of Fodlan. Professor, I am not sure I understand. Why is the Empire intent on making an enemy of the Church? What is meant by the way of the Church? What do they dislike about it? I have no idea what Edelgard was thinking or how she arrived at the decision to raise an army. However, I do have some small insight as to what she is after. She is attempting to destroy the existing social order. That is why the Church of Seros is first on her list of institutions that must be destroyed. It may very well be her goal to rebuild Fodlan from the ground up. I see. But that is only Edelgard's desire, is it not? 
I cannot imagine that the people of Fodlin would want that for themselves. She may have high ideals, but she certainly lacks any compunction about throwing the world and its people into an awful war. It just seems so illogical. You have a point, Flame. I do not believe the people will ever understand her aim. So long as she makes the people suffer, our Knights of Seros will fight on and strive to protect them. If we do not defeat Edelgard and retake control of this world, Fodlin's future shall be as dark as night. Thank you, dear brother. I finally feel I understand what is going on. I am always happy to answer your questions, Flame. Is there anything else you wish to ask? Well, um... Actually, I have a question for the Professor. My brother mentioned that you slumbered for five years. Where was it that you slept? The bottom of a valley? In the water? That certainly sounds frigid. I would never choose such a place myself. I am surprised you did not fall ill. Pardon the intrusion, but we must prepare a counterattack, now! It seems the Imperial Army found out about us entering the monastery. Hmm. That is sooner than expected. They must have been spying on us. I wonder if we can win on our own. There aren't many of them. It looks like we'll just be facing the ones who were stationed nearby. Did they move on us too soon? Perhaps if we fight by using the land to our advantage... Of course. If we are careful, we will not lose. Never again will those Imperial scoundrels disgrace Garrig Mach with their presence. Onward, Professor! Though preparations are still being made to raise troops for the Resistance Army at Garrig Mach, the Imperial Army is already one step ahead. Anticipating the Resistance Army's actions, General Randolph and the Imperial Vanguard, under his command, begin their advance toward Garrig Mach to reclaim the monastery.
The Knights of Seros are a powerful enemy, but we have more soldiers. We'll take them down all at once. Clever tactics are our only hope here. We will use fire to deal with the main enemy force. Report! The enemy has entered the periphery of Garrig Mok. If we allow them to take the interior, the monastery will be lost. We must drive them back! Why not? Violence. And for what? I'm in. Step aside. What did you expect? Noted. Never end up on your bad side. What's my strategy? Let's clean up. Sending their numbers. Guide me well. Destiny unfurls. Sunshine. My joke of a life drags on. Ready and able. More fighting. What? That strange battle flag is... But isn't our enemy the Church of Saros? They didn't have enough soldiers with just the Church. So they upped their numbers by joining with those filthy rogues. It doesn't matter what flag they fly. They're nothing more than a mob. We'll destroy them all! your weakness. I must stay the course.
Missed. Troops are preparing the attack. Protect them until they reach their destination. on top this time. Once I've decided you're done, you're done. I'm impressed. my peace. I won't allow it. There is always more to learn. Feels good to fight for a cause. I'll grow as strong as I can. Imagine being defeated by me. Haven't withered away just yet. Destiny unfurls. Huh. 
I must lead them well. how you died here. Lament your weakness. It's 
Another victory. What did you expect? Destiny unfurls. I must stay the course. I'll make good use of this power. their numbers. And I'll keep getting stronger. A sight to see.
little bloodshed can do. All is prepared. Now we just need to draw the enemy's attention. Traitors! Repent of your sins, and the goddess may yet show you mercy. Quiet! Don't think you'll get away with mocking me. Attack! Make sure they never speak again! Now, begin! Fire attack! The damage is too great! We can't fight anymore! All units retreat! I'll take on our pursuers! Carry away the injured soldiers! Press the attack! Give them no quarter! Goddess, my regards, yeah. Whatever gets me by. Such Only thorns left on this rose.
fresh out of luck. Stay down. Turn home like this. Watch out, Professor. They're coming for you. <laughs> Only I shall know how you die here. Justice! I will not be defeated! Feels good to fight for a cause. Truly impressive. Mother, please. I'm so. We face a powerful enemy today, but Garrig Mach will remain secure. We 
drove back the Imperial Army. The real fight has only just begun. I never thought I'd be fighting Randolph. I guess it can't be helped, seeing as how I've left my own territory and all. But what will I do if my father or brother get involved? I really don't want to face them. Too true, Professor. So long as the Empire is our enemy, we cannot avoid fighting those we are acquainted with. Though I suppose I have it easier, since my house is no longer on the Empire's side. My friends from the Opera said they would leave the capital and go west. So at least I won't be seeing them in battle. Mm. I don't think I care if my own house falls. Let's make it a grand fight. After a grand nap, of course. It does not give me happiness to have the people of Bridget involved. But it is not the time to be thinking of that. If it is a possibility, I will be having their strength. I don't mind at all, really. I have no friends anyway, and my father hasn't done much to make me care for him. Not that he'd ever step on a battlefield anyway. Oh, but I do wonder how Mother is doing. Each of our situations is unique. What we share is companionship and the will to fight as one. Professor, you are the heart of our efforts. We will support you as best we can. I have a proposal. It would be most difficult to fight the Imperial Army with the forces we have now. As such, I believe we should send messengers to whatever lords we can trust in the Kingdom and the Alliance, so that we may gain their support. Do you agree? It's heartening to hear you say that. If all we do is bide our time, our enemy's main army will come down upon us like a hammer from above. Who are you planning to ask? Sadly, House Karen is out. We can trust them, but they have no help to offer. Hmm. How about House Daphne of the Alliance? Their leader is sure to at least respond. Judith, the hero of Daphne. Yes, that is a fine suggestion. That territory is on the border of the Kingdom and the Alliance. It has not yet been claimed by the fires of war. If they agree to lend us their troops, our forces will be greatly strengthened. We shall send along a secret messenger at once, 